Hey guys, and welcome to Petrol Ped. The day has finally come. The day I wish was never going to come, really. I've been running this Land Rover Defender 90 as my Hendy Group long termer for the last six months. I've absolutely loved every minute. But today, today is the day it goes back and gets swapped for my next long termer, which is exciting. But it will be. It will be sad to say goodbye to Daisy the Defender. On my way, beautiful sunny day today. So yeah, I'm very lucky in my job. I get to drive lots of cars. I've had a few long-termers in my time and working with the Hendy Group over the last couple of years, I've had cars for not just a week or a month, but I think the longest I've had a long term was nine months. So you grow quite connected to them, but nothing like this. I think the only car as close to this, I had the MSRT Ranger for six months and we both really liked that car. It was a very sad day when that car went. But I think for us, Tracy and myself, we, we love the Defender um, and the fact it's going back um, was a bit traumatic last night. Trace came in when I nearly shed a tear then. My last drive of the Defender. But all, all good things come to an end. Um, I've done uh, only very recently a six month review of this car. So if you want to know how I've got on with it and want to know what I think of it, then uh, I'll put a link above and you can check that video out. But it's been a fascinating six months and a really good example of why living with a car for such a long period of time is so important because you, over time, you you spot things that you don't spot instantly. You, you start to uh, understand how your use of a vehicle might change or how the things in the vehicle that you need, the requirements you need, how they might change. And that's certainly been the case for the Defender 90. Would it be a car that I'd go up and buy? Absolutely. It really would be. I think the car market at the moment is quite volatile, but I think you know the thought of picking up a used Defender 90 um, or maybe a Defender 110, probably the 110, because I just think um, it's not going to give me very much room there, is it? Um, I just think the 110, even though the footprint's bigger, I think that would just be a more usable car for for our lifestyle for sure. But this car. It's certainly divided opinion on the channel. I think some of you absolutely love the Grasmere Green. Um, I think the majority of people dislike the body colored wheels. I love them. Um, and then there's also a huge amount of people hate all the stuff hanging off the back, the gear carrier and ladder and roof rack. I love that too. This car for me is perfect. Um, and it's been a fantastic, fantastic six months. But um, I am on my way to a Hendy dealership for a brand. I've not worked with, with Hendy before, but I have worked with recently on the channel, and that might give you a clue. Um, and in the video I did with that brand on the channel, one of the things I said was I'd like to spend more time in that car to really get my head around it, and also put some of its claims to the test. Now, if you tune into the channel regularly, I reckon I've just given enough away for you to guess what the car is. So put in the comments with a timestamp, have a guess. Where do you think I'm going and what car do you think I'm going to be picking up? But for now, I'm going to enjoy my last drive in the Defender. I'm listening to the Drive Talk podcast. Hopefully you tune in um, every two weeks, although this year, we're actually doing a Friday video every week, so we're going to do a highlights video every other Friday and a main episode every other Friday. So make sure you tune into them. But yeah, I'm going to head on over down south. I'm going towards Pool. That might give you some give you some tips. Pool. But yes, Petroped signing off from the Defender. Oh, I love this car. I'm here. I've arrived. <laughs> I've got to say my fond farewells 
to Daisy the Defender. Sadly, these, th this happened so quickly with so little notice, I didn't even get a chance to give her a final wash. So she's absolutely disgraceful. So sorry, Hendy. Sorry I didn't clean it. But yeah, she's been a faithful old car for the last six months. But let's head over there. And first thing I'm going to do is let you know the manufacturer and then secondly, the car. But yes, bye bye Defender. Hello, new car. That should give you a hint. Well, if you know your car names and associated brands, I should definitely give you a hint. Yeah, come on, I gave you enough hints. I was at a Vauxhall media day at the back end of last year and I'm here at Hendy Vauxhall in Poole. So that's the manufacturer. Next question is, what's the car? Well, it's parked just over there and it's sunny and everything. Ta-da! Yes, I'm going EV again, people. So bring on the hate. This is the new Vauxhall Astra electric and it is in a beautiful, beautiful colour. So again, anyone who hated the Land Rover, that Grasmere Green, hopefully this is a bit more of a kind of, you know, less controversial colour. But I'm really interested to drive this car. I drove the Tourer version at the press drives and I really wanted to put to the range to the test. I wanted to just understand what it was like to live with. I wanted to understand what the infotainment system was like to live with. And that's what I'm going to be able to do just for the next month. So we are shifting things up a little bit. I had the Defender for six months. I'm going to have this one for just a month if the plans go according to our cunning plan. But yes, I need someone to tell me about this car though. So when you come and buy a new car from Hendy Vauxhall, or any of the Hendy group, one of the things that Hendy pride themselves with is the customer handover. So I'm gonna get Chloe on the channel to tell me all about this Astra. Okay, welcome to the channel, Chloe. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe was basically, um, did you raise your hand and volunteer for this or was it, someone, someone needs to film did, with yeah. Ted, you're doing it. Someone's got to take the short straw. <laughs> Chloe's taken the short straw because you've not been with Vauxhall long. No. But you've come from other handy groups. You were with Maserati. Yes, I was with Maserati, yes. Wow. <laughs> Sadly, we're not picking up a Maserati. I'm still working on that one. I'm still working on a Gricale yeah, Trofeo, sure. maybe. Fantastic but that drive. Amazing car. <laughs> but we have the new Electric Astra. Yes. This Absolutely. colour's rather nice. Yeah, cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. It, it, and it's nice. The nice thing is we've got the sunshine. So when you look at it, it's got a really nice metallic fleck to it. So come on, tell me what I've got, what I've got in front of me. What, yeah, what? so to be exact, this is the Astra Ultimate. So it is the top of the range. Oh, okay, excellent. Equipped with loads of convenient side things, safety features, etc. So loads of things that are really exciting and quite new to the Vauxhall brand as well. And so this is all the fully loaded, all the toys. I like having all the toys. Yeah, no, absolutely. So yeah, all of the additional extras, um, obviously a little bit of a facelift, uh, the kind of styling and everything with the black front grille. Um, but this one also specifically being electric and obviously a range anxiety is a huge thing. Yeah. So this one is actually the long range um, model. Excellent. Good. Okay. <laughs> that means my marriage may well survive <laughs> for the next month. Oh, yeah. good. Do we know the kind of estimated range? So. Uh, Generally speaking, you're looking at around 270 miles on a full range. Not bad. Absolutely. Not bad. And now the weather's getting a bit warmer. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll say goodbye to the kind of frosty mornings. Yes. Excellent. So, shall we jump inside the car? Now, uh, you guys know me. I jump in and out of new cars all the time. So I probably don't need a full customer handover, but I would like to know the kind of things that you would do in a customer handover. Because as I always say, if you're coming to buy a new car like this, new cars have so many gadgets and gizmos on them the infotainment system normally you need a degree to work out how it works and people like you help customers understand how the car works we try you try <laughs> so good so we'll jump inside because it's got quite a nice interior but yes outside i like the color cobalt blue yeah oh, it's plush in here isn't it it is very smart now then, have I got a slidey? Oh, crap. Yes. Wow. 
In fact, Plenty it's not often I get in a car and have to pull the seat forward. First time for everything. There's a first time for everything, and that's, I'm guessing, has got the... Uh, excellent. All right, so that's that set up. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got a start button there, is yes, it? Yes, it is just there. I should remember, really. Just make sure that the radio's not on. Wow. There we go. Tell me about it, tell me about it. So, <laughs> Yeah, of course. So on the kind of this part, so you've got your wireless Apple CarPlay, all your kind of sat nav, etc. is all integrated into the system. Yeah. Um, the great thing is, is that it's wireless on this specification. Oh, okay. Um, you've then got in here your charger, um, so USB ports, etc. in there. Yeah. Drive mode, so really, really clean design with this now. No more bulky shifts. No, it's weird, isn't it? I can remember thinking that because there's no... You know, you're so used to having like a gear stick, that's the gear lever. And I quite, I did quite like that at the press drives. It's, yeah. it's, it's weird not having a gear lever there, especially when you're as old as me, because you're so used to having a <laughs> manual, but that is quite nice. And then you've got the gear, the different drive modes. It's just yeah. really clean in here. So when you, when you've got a new customer, mm -hmm. how, uh, how long do you kind of do the handover? What's the, what's the process? So every customer is different. Um, mm. There'll be customers that are returning. So they may have already had one of these a year ago, for example, but yeah. there's been slight changes. So they'll be very familiar with the product. Yeah. Um, however, generally speaking, you would allocate at least an hour to an hour and a half to a handover yeah, yeah. Um, and just run through, find out what the specifics are that that customer really requires to find out. Yeah. So just making as much convenience as possible. And it's a lot of information to take in all at once. So yeah. if the customer wants to come in a week later, absolutely. And if, if a customer's coming into an electric car for the first time, because mm -hmm. for Vauxhall, I know you've had EVs in the fleet for a while now, but you've got new electric Corsa, new electric Astra, Astra Sports Tourer, so there's yep. this electrification thing. Are you finding customers are needing a bit more of a chat through or? Yeah, I think it's kind of the understanding that although you're faced straight away with an electric vehicle with a range, yeah. you don't, when you go and buy a petrol vehicle, it's very, very rare that you ask the question, well, what's the range on it? Yeah, yeah. And actually it's just the mindset that because that's publicised so wide, uh, widely that actually people are like, oh my goodness, I've only got 200 miles, when actually customers probably only do 200 miles every two, three weeks. I know. What was the first question I asked you about this car, apart from what colour it was? What's the range? <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't be doing that, really. It's around, so actually around 270, yeah. if not a little bit more, so give or take. So at the moment it's nearly there on charge, yeah. so 86%, and that is 228. Yeah. And from what I remember, this does about 100 kilowatts of DC charging, so you can use the rapid chargers. So you yep. build that up quite quite quickly. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, but no, it's a, it's, a, it's a nice car. And are you getting good interest in these, is it? Yeah, there's so much interest on these. Yeah. The new facelift with the Astra, and obviously, it go back a few years ago, it's come quite a long way. Well, yeah, you did have, I, I might have been brave when I did the press drives. I said you had a, a few years where, Astra, uh, where Vauxhall weren't making the, the most exciting cars but I think the new design language is really cool yeah. and actually when you see this parked in a car lot with cars with the older style mm -hmm. they stand out a mile there's so 100%. much more modern aren't they yeah they've definitely come a long way um, cool. this is this is nice and that's something like the cubby hole in yeah. there <laughs> plenty of places to put stuff yeah and then you've got the slide across there as well so cool well thank you very much that's okay I know you were kind of you know um, volunteered for it, but you, you should come on again. And anyway, on I'll see you on Saturday because it's will. the Hendy Awards. So I went last year, and they they had a Cirque du Soleil theme, yeah. and I was blown away by how cool the team is and the family atmosphere of, of everybody. But also the when we did the awards and how many the people who were winning was how many cars they were selling and how yeah. successful people were. And it was amazing, really amazing. The nominations have just come through yeah? yesterday. Oh, so, really? Yes. So, oh, okay. Are you nominated? No. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you will be after this. But it's uh, um, Alice in Wonderland theme this year. It is, so yes. So I will look out for I'll come and say hello. Be very I'll have intrigued. me tucks on it. Apparently, I might be giving an award away Ooh. on stage. Fantastic. And I did a video for it as well. But, <laughs> so there. Anyway, um, I'll um, I'm gonna uh, get all my stuff in the car, and then we'll head off home, and I'll give you my first driving impressions of this Vauxhall Astra Ultimate Edition. Absolutely. In cobalt blue. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Welcome 
to the new long termer. The Vauxhall Astra Electric. Now, um, there's a part of me that's very sad to see the Defender go. That's so much a type of car that um, I would want to buy. But I am really intrigued by this car. Um, as I said, I drove it at the press drives and it was a car that, that did impress me. Um, but one of the things I stated was there was a, a large range, and I know we just talked with Chloe about range and how it's not that important, but I really want to see the the typical kind of range that you're going to get from this car. I want to see what it's like with rapid charging. And it's been, well, our previous car to the Defender was the Mach-E. I'm oh, sorry, it was a, a, a Mach-E and an Aria. So both uh, full electric cars. So it's good to be back in an all electric car again. Um, so yeah, let's put this one to the test. So let me know what you think of the new one. I've got to say the color, I really, really like the color. Um, my sat nav's deciding to, try and work out where it is hey, it's worked out where it is um, so off we go back to uh, back home I'll probably drive the car for the next week or so and then I'll do uh, a video just letting you know how I'm getting on with it as I mentioned we had a chat with Hendy one of the things we're going to try and do this year to basically bring more cars to you uh, is to cycle through cars more quickly than we have been. I kept the Defender for six months, combination of I just absolutely loved the car and didn't want to give it back. But what we're going to try and do um, where possible is just keep the cars for about a month and then change up uh, the car and again cycle through different brands. This is a, a, a new brand, I've not run a, a Vauxhall um, other than at the press drives before Christmas. So it'll be really interesting to see what it's like to run on a long-term basis, really understand the sat-nav and the infotainment system and all that kind of thing. Um, and just get to grips with the car, really. Or I might do though, I'm gonna put it into sport mode. Um, so that's interesting. And what, what we wanna do with with my long-term is, is cycle through as many, as many cars within the Hendy family uh, and as many brands within the Hendy family as possible. Anyway, yes, I want to say a big thanks to Chloe and all the team at Hendy Vauxhall in Pool. Um, I am really looking forward to the next month for this car and really getting to grips with it, really getting underneath its skin. Um, but for now, I'm going to concentrate on getting home. But if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Drive safe.